Mother, what are you doing all dressed up like that? Oh, I don't know. Maybe some people might drop in. You didn't put that ad in again about the lost dog? You're gonna miss your train. You don't have a dog. You've never had a dog. You can't keep losing a dog you've never had. You meet people your way, and I'll meet people my way. But, Mother... As a matter of fact, your love life isn't too much to brag about. It wouldn't hurt you to lose a dog yourself. Mom... You might gain a wife. If I get a wife, it won't be through deceit and fraud. Well, you haven't done so well yourself by telling the truth. You've got to color your life a little, son. You're 30 years old and you're still living at home. Okay, okay. That can't be one of your people already. Oh, it could be. <laughs> Older people get the paper early. Don't do too much sleepy. <laughs> Good morning. My name is Stanton. Good morning, Mrs. Stanton. Are you the party that lost the dog? Oh, um, uh, yes. Y uh, yes, I am. Uh, won't you come in? Oh, thank you. Arthur, this is Mr. Stanton. He's answering the advertisement uh, about Chipper. You didn't happen to find him, did you, sir? Arthur was just leaving. He has to catch the 840 for Manhattan. <laughs> Is that a scoop, Arthur? Yeah. Bye, Mother. Mr. Stanton. Um, your only child? Yes, he's a wonderful boy. A little slow in some ways, but he's honest. Sometimes he's too honest. <laughs> uh, I, uh, I have a couple of boys myself. Uh, how nice. Uh, won't you sit down? Oh, uh, thank you. Thank you. Would you like some tea? Oh, thank you very much. I... Cream or sugar? Oh, no, nothing, thank you. Yeah, you know, I normally don't read the lost and found column, but, uh, but your ad caught my eye. Attractive, lively, fun-loving widow has lost her dog Chipper and is heartbroken. Call 555-8396 any hour of the day or night. Let's not go to bed until after the 11.15 news. That's charming, very charming. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, I, uh, I could tell by the number that you live in the neighborhood, and uh, I live in the big apartment house across the street. Oh, how nice. Just north of me, there's a go-go dancer. <laughs> and she practices all the time. Well, I, I like the Rolling Stones, but 3 o'clock in the morning? I know. When did you lose your dog? My dog? Yes, Chipper. Uh, oh, Chipper, my, my dog. Oh, <laughs> yeah, my dog. Uh... Oh, excuse me. I have no idea who this might be. Good morning, madam. Are you the lady that lost the dog? Oh, yes, yes, I am. How do you do? I am Bert Conrad, Rear Admiral, United States Navy, retired. Well, welcome aboard. Won't you come in? Thank you, thank you. Admiral Conrad, this is Mr. Stanton. He came about the dog, too. How do you do, Stanton? Yes, I saw a little dog going by this morning at about 9 o'clock. 9 o'clock? It's only about 8.45 now. I mean the direction. The direction was 9 o'clock. The time was 0700. I picked up the paper about uh, 0730, and I saw your advertisement. I don't usually read ads in the newspaper, but this one particularly attracted my eye because your dog's name was Chipper. Well, uh, that was my skipper's name. My skipper was Chipper. <laughs> Chipper's name. Sorry you couldn't find a better skipper than Chipper. <laughs> he was a great fella, I'll tell you. <laughs> he was absolutely crazy about the women. I remember one time that Chip... <laughs> well, I suppose that's a rough story to tell in the presence of ladies. Huh? Would you like some tea? Yes, thank you. Thank you, I would. I'd like some very much. You, uh, you live around here, Stanton? Oh, uh, yes, I live across the street. Oh, yes, yes. I looked at a couple of those apartments. <laughs> Too much like the brig for me, so I uh, bought a great big old rambling house back here on top of the hill. Oh. What did you do in the war, Stanton? I wasn't in the service. 
You 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 what? Oh. Well, it takes all kinds. I suppose. Now, about this little lost dog, here's the way I have it figured. I've been doing a great deal of work with the local Boy Scouts. Uh, now, I could call on Troop 92 and deploy them. We have some tall boys who'd be very good for looking over fences, and we have some short boys who would be rather good at looking under bushes and, and so forth. Now, don't you worry, but <laughs> I will have that little mutt back for you before you can whistle. <laughs> well, I... Uh... I better be going. Right, dismiss, Stanton. Do you have to go? Oh, yes, I'm afraid I have to do some things. And, uh... Oh, well, I do want to thank you for your concern. You can't be too careful about putting ads in newspapers, you know. All kinds of weirdos come around. Well, I thought Mr. Stanton was a very nice gentleman. Uh, couldn't get in the service. Well, who knows? Could be flat feet. Could be something much more serious. <laughs> well, now... May I make a suggestion to you? I know that you're upset about losing your little dog and all. Now, if you don't find him, this is my suggestion, that you get out of the house this evening. Get your mind off things, you know? There's a John Wayne double feature playing right up the street, Return to Bataan and the Alamo. <laughs> or, or we could go out to that museum, the World War II Museum in Pinto Park. They have some marvelous, unexploded landmines there that are just absolutely fascinating. <laughs> well, like I was saying, sometimes a lost dog will just never come back again. So I think that definitely, for the next two weeks at least, you should not be left alone. Were you uh, ever married, Mr. Conrad? Marry? Um, yes. Yes, but I don't like to talk about that. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, well, well, what's the difference? I suppose I can tell you. She ran away with a civilian while I was overseas. Oh, no. Life plays funny tricks, doesn't it? Now, what do you say? How about tonight? I can come by and pick you up at, oh, about 1,900 hours, and we could... Hey, excuse me. Is this Chipper? Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, you bad boy. Where have you been? Is that the dog? Oh, yes, and look at him. He's so happy, and I'm so grateful. How can I ever reward you, Mr. Stanton? Oh, please, no money. Uh, however, if you'd consent to have lunch with me, I'd be glad. Lunch? Why, of course I will. That's the least I can do. <laughs> Don't you think so, Admiral? Um, no, well, I think I'd better be running along. I'll check back with you later. Possibly. Goodbye, Stanton. Dismissed, Admiral. <laughs> oh, it was nothing, just a little joke. Uh, well, if you have any trouble, I'll be at the Navy Club. <laughs> Mr. Stanton, I've got a confession to make. Yes? I didn't lose a dog. I know. And I didn't find one either. What? <laughs> That's my dog, Bootsy. Oh, no. <laughs> There was another thing I didn't tell the Admiral. During the war, I was a civilian employee for the Intelligence Department. <laughs> well, Mr. Stanton, I'd say you haven't lost your touch. 